Hello again. Now, there's every chance that you'll find one of these for sale on eBay. If you type 88mm gun manual into your eBay search, one of these will pop up. But the one that pops up is the current commercial reprint. Now, that's what I thought I was buying when I bought this on eBay. But much to my surprise, what I've bought is not the current reprint of this, but the original American military manual. Now you may think, well, this doesn't look like an American military manual. This looks like a civilian commercial cover. You know, technical manual, blah, 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 Washington, 29th of June, 1943. And on the back, there's an image of the flak badge. So you think, well, this is just a, a commercial copy. But what I didn't know, and what you probably don't know, is when this book originally came out, many, 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 many years ago, the book was, in fact, a proper American military manual that had been declassified. The Americans had so many of these that they declassified the originals in 1946 and somebody bought them as surplus. And in order to sell them to the American public, big gun culture in America, they actually manufactured a civilian type cover, a paper cover, and put it over the original World War II American manual. Watch this. Civilian paper cover, 1960s, to sell the book. However, you take the paper cover off, and it's the original wartime American manual. Not a reprint. You know? This Gumdon Decal states classification cancelled in accordance with blah blah blah, 1946. Originally, the book belonged to the 82nd Artillery Division, 243rd Field Artillery, Maintenance Battalion. That's it. That's a proper ink stamp. And you can see where the rust on the staples have leached through. And if you go to the back, pull it out. As you can see, that's just a, a civilian cover in order to sell the military manual. So it's an original. American War Department manual on the German 88mm anti-aircraft gun and its bits and pieces. So originally, in 1943, some of the Americans captured an 88mm gun, brought it to America, stripped it down, had a poke about with it, seeing how it worked, seeing how all the bits and pieces with it worked, and then issued a manual out on how to use it, on how to maintain it. So it's quite an interesting thing. Like I say, if you buy this now on eBay, what you're buying now is the commercial reprint, not the original manual. So everything is covered. It takes it down to the finest of bits and pieces. I mean, for example, it's got the number of turns of hand wheel to elevate from zero to 85 degrees. 42.5 turns. Number of turns of hand wheel to traverse 360 degrees. 100 turns. And it's even, it's even got the effort required to elevate the hand wheel. And it's, it's only when you read a manual like this, you see how complicated the 88mm gun as an artillery piece was. But not only that, you can appreciate how complicated the carriage was for the gun as well. In the way they had to lower the gun to get it off its wheeled carriage, to stake it out. And it was a really complicated piece of machinery that needed highly maintenance done to it in order to keep it working. So you have it on its wheeled bogies and displayed for use then you have all the elements of the carriage it's got leveling jacks on it the outriggers the detail of the legs all the components that make up the leveling jack and the plate 
So every single piece of detail is there. And it's not a translation of a captured German manual either. Because you will see the guys in it doing the demos are American. Because they're wearing the, what they call them, beanie hats or boonie hats or whatever they call them. They're American servicemen that are doing the operations. So a very complicated piece of machinery. And it runs to some 200 pages, 181 pages. So it goes into all the equipment, optical equipment, the sights, the fire control gear. I think it covers the shells, the markings on the shells, interchangeability of the ammunition. Everything. It's a quite nice find. Thought I was buying a post-war reprint. But it turns out it's the original period one. In a 1960s commercial wrapper. So it's the original first generation release of the book. But like I say, now you get these all over eBay as a commercial reprint. So what a nice find. This was one of two books I bought from one guy in the UK. Um... Both books cost me a tenner, so that stands me at £5. Not bad at all. Bye for now.